Next up, we have Jose Tisol. All right, so my name is Jose Tisol. Uh, uh, disclaimer, I don't work at Google. I just Google everything that I, you know, that I have a problem with or I see an error or something. Uh, so uh, I'm a college student and I recently started you know, uh, learning how to you know, build uh, websites. And so I first started learning how to build uh, websites like static HTML websites. Uh, something that's not interactive, so just building uh, HTML websites. And then um, I tried to build a web application using the mean stack pattern, like Mongo, Angular, um, and uh, it just took a long time. I couldn't really build it. I got discouraged because I'm a beginner. I don't know where to start. There's so many tools for you to learn, and so I, I, I couldn't really do it. Uh, and so my friend and I actually we run a little uh, company where we make websites for uh, small businesses. And so we had this uh, small uh, company who asked us to build this uh, uh, e-commerce site for them. And then I hadn't built one before, so I decided to use Meteor because it was uh, really uh, friendly to beginners. And so what I did basically, uh, I wrote this uh, application in Meteor uh, using Angular and Meteor. Uh, so basically it's, uh, it's just an e-commerce site that you can see here that we sell boards. That's what our client uh, they do, they do sell boards right here. So here I can select a board right here and then uh, go into my shopping cart and see the item inside here. And then I can check out uh, using Stripe and credit card processing. Um, that's what I can do. So what I did to do this project was just I forked the uh, NG card uh, that was written natively in uh, Angular and I forked it and then I just uh, pasted it inside the Meteor app. And then I followed the tutorial here on uh, Angular uh, Meteor Dot com and then uh, here Yurigo um, is uh, the one who uh, runs this website and he basically explains all of the things that you need to do to start an application and get it running. So that's what I did and so I started diving into it and I started learning. So basically this is almost like the code um, basically for it. So here you can see these are my routes. Uh, I didn't even, I don't really know how to do routes but I started Googling and I found how to do routes and here's the something that I just copy and paste from the Angular uh, website, Angular Media website. Uh, so here you can see all my routes, uh, my controllers and things like that, my directives. Um, so I decided to use Angular because it was something that I was trying to build the main stack already but it really didn't work until I used Meteor and then it worked. And then I uh, just used an API to process the credit card Stripe and then uh, there's uh, just a testing uh, right there. Uh, so basically, so. I was excited, I got it working, it's my first app that I ever built, and then now I was faced with deployment, so how do I deploy this? And so what I did, um, basically I discovered this package called Meteor App, and then I just put the path of where the file, was uh, the file was found, my app, and then I just uh, installed it globally using NPM, and then I uh, go to um, you know, um, DigitalOcean and uh, start a droplet, and then use it, and then uh, I deploy the app, so now, um, switchboard.com, uh, it's actually in production, uh, and it's my first ever app that I built, my first gig, basically using uh, Angular and Meteor, and then it's running right now, and people actually are buying this and uh, buying uh, the boards, the product basically that the company sells. Uh, and so, uh, try Meteor, it's really user friendly for beginners. I had a lot of experience, I didn't have a lot of experience. The only thing I had was just build static web applications, but with Meteor.js, you know, it's so super easy to build a, a full, uh, you know, like a web, uh, full stack application. So uh, give it a try. I love Meteor.js. Uh, any questions for Jose? I have a question. How long did it take you to build that? Uh, it took us about uh, two weeks, uh, just Googling around and putting things, copying and pasting things together. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. What was the impetus to build this from scratch when there are platforms like Shopify? Uh, we wanted to build an app because we all we've done is like build static app, uh, websites, and so I wanted to build something dynamic, something you know like that I could build, and I want to you know um, build my skills. And so Meteor was just super friendly. I tried using the mean stack, but uh, it just took a long time to put everything together, and I got discouraged and I didn't want to do it anymore. But once I started using Meteor, uh, everything became easier, and so I was encouraged to do it. Any other questions? Okay, thanks, Jose.